Hello everyone. I am so glad you have joined me today. I love sharing my ideas with you and I hope I inspire you with today's creation. And here it is. I used some designer series paper that I hadn't touched in a while and I did the inside in the envelope in an, an unusual way inside. Join me in the studio and I'll show you how. For today's 10 minute creation, I am using Daisy Delight, specifically the Daisy and your thoughtfulness brightened my day. I am using the Tropical Chic for the thank you. I have some scraps of Whisper White to stamp my daisy and sentiments on. I have a piece of Whisper White that is three and a half by three and a half. I have two pieces of soft sea foam that are one and a half, or sorry, I think it's one and a fourth, is it? Nope, one and a half by four. I have a piece of soft sea foam that is three and a half by three and a half. My card base is Mossy Meadow and it is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. I have my envelope. I am using some of the Garden Lane Designer Series paper. This piece is one and a fourth by four, and this piece is three and a half by three and a half. I am using the layering ovals, specifically not the smallest, but the next one up of each of my, sorry, there went my paper, each of my scalloped and plain oval. I'm gonna use Melon Mambo ink and my punch. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get my flower stamped. Um, I decided to use Melon Mambo because I hadn't used Melon Mambo in a while. So, trying to vary it up. And I'm going to make sure I've got one section. Yeah, there we go. I have one petal that doesn't want to stamp for some reason. So I'm making sure I hit the petals. Um, I don't know if it's, see? Of course, that may have been me not inked up right. We'll find out. All right, and I'm gonna stamp this down here. Right. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to stamp my thank you. And I'm gonna also stamp your thoughtfulness brightened my day. So I have both of them done. All right, let's punch some flowers. All right, and since I stamped my flowers with a petal north and south, it makes it easy to line it up and punch it out. Of course, you have to have some muscles. Some of these more intricate punches are a little bit harder to to get punched. Um, I got to do it this way, which is harder because I'm right-handed on holding the punch, and I find if I try to reverse it, I have a mess. All right, there's that. One more. Oh, it's got to be punched this way. Alright. There we go. Got those punched. Now I'm going to take my... Ooh, I need some scraps of Melon Mambo because these get cut out with this. And the scallop is Melon Mambo. So I'm going to do all of that, and I shall return. All right. Time to put our pieces together. I'm going to add some 
glue to this and to this one and to my paper. Right now, this one I'm going to put on here, and I just put my hand into the glue on this one. Let me put this one down so it's out of the way. And then I'll put this one down. On here. Like so. And this piece goes on here. <laughs> then we can put our card front together. This one's going to go inside, so I'm going to move it out of the way. And this piece goes on here. And it's even side to side, so I have to allow my spacing top and bottom. There. Now, for my card base, I have my Mossy Meadow. All right. This piece goes at the bottom. it down here at the bottom and I'm trying to make my spacing side to side and the bottom the same. This piece goes on the top So, and I'm looking at my spacing side to side and top to bottom. They're not the same, but I'm trying to make them the same as much as possible. And that was crooked. There, that's better. All right. This is going to go on with dimensionals. So I'm going to put them on. And then we'll get our daisy put together. And I think I'm going to pull in, uh, I don't know, I've got to pull in something for the center of the daisy. Haven't decided. All right, there's that. Now, when I do my daisies, I curl, I use three, and I take two of them, this one's got to be one of the bottoms because I messed up on that petal, and I curl them down. I take the other one and I curl it up. Now I am not doing this very hard. Alright, then I'm going to take glue dots. You can use dimensionals also, but I want, I don't want it too much. And eh, I'm going to hold that one down. And I'm kind of offsetting, I'm still leaving, I'm leaving another space for this one to go where that opening is. And this gives you a nice full daisy like so and then this is going to go on here and I'm going to use dimensionals if I can find there I have one here and one here all right and that's going to go in there like that. And you know, I think I'm going to pull in my gold faceted gems. I finally 
bought some because I had used them all up. I hardly ever used them. And then all of a sudden it's like, I don't know, I need some more. I'm going to take a big one. Now know that um, this is going to take extra postage because of that um, gem. If you don't want to put extra postage on it, take a piece of glitter paper and a half inch circle punch and punch it out. And there's the front of the card. And there's the inside in the envelope. I left this open so that you could write a message. If you like my project, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel using the button below. Don't forget to leave me a comment. It helps me out on YouTube. I have a Facebook group where I do Facebook Live. There are some in there. I haven't been in there for a while because I've been traveling a lot. Um, I won't be in again until the end of January, but there are some ideas in there that you might be interested in. Go check it out. If you do not have a demonstrator, I would love to be your online person. Send me a message and I'll help you out in any way I can. Have a great day.